Hi guys! Thought it was time for an update video since I've been somewhat missing in action aside from the uh, couple of heavy rain videos that I've been uploading. Some of you may have seen the post that I made, but uh, I'm actually having sound card issues which are keeping me from recording uh, in-game volume sound and that's been keeping me from being able to make new videos. Luckily I had kind of a small stockpile of Heavy Rain already done but I only have a few more left before I run out so hopefully sound card gets here uh, by Monday so I will be able to start making those again. Um, start making some more some more stuff, gen uh, making new videos but uh, that's kind of been in the way uh, so there's going to be no new Minecraft, etc. until that comes in. Um, I was planning on working out the problems with the longest journey that I've had. Just, you know, first episode of that series came out and it, it was just, it wasn't looking too great. So I needed to tweak with some things, try to get it working properly, as well as issues I was having with recording the cinematics. Recording the cinematics is impossible with Fraps, so I had to go a very complicated, out-of-the-way route to getting those in there. It's very, very time-consuming, and it's not something I can work on without a functioning sound card. But thank you to Mad Liquid, who's been helping me through the process. Eternally grateful for um, all of the tech support he's been providing me with, with getting uh, these issues kind of ironed out as much as I can. As far as the longest journey goes, uh, Dreamfall, the, the the sequel to the longest journey, I I did that as one of my very first series, like just as kind of a test for this whole let's play idea thing, and it went really well, and I loved the game. Unfortunately, one of my favorite let's players and one that I highly recommend, Dylanju three thousand, also did Dreamfall and the longest journey. Unfortunately, I did not know that at the time, and I just personally, I don't, I don't like to, um, co uh, I don't like to cover a game that one of my favorite Let's Players already did, just because it seems a bit repetitious, and um, you know, clearly wouldn't live up to the uh, standard that they've already set. However, since I already did Dreamfall, and I really, really like The Longest Journey, and I do have somewhat of a different perspective, Dylandu being somewhat of an expert, not somewhat, being an expert on, um, you know, those games. Uh, whereas I'm playing it blind, it's going to be different, but uh, also... <laughs> in case you guys didn't realize, some of you probably have already noticed this about me, fairly certain that I have ADD or something like that to some extent. Some of you are probably like, uh, yeah. Anyways, Minecraft textures. A Mine bunch of people have been asking about the Minecraft textures. think that I've answered about 50 billion times now that it's primarily painterly default textures and some other custom textures that were not made by me and that the texture pack was given to me However, um, it's now going to be made available. Hooray! Thank you to Davon Refney, who put the pack together and has made it available for upload. Upload. Download. Available for download for people who would like to use the texture pack. There's going to be two of them. One of them is an older version of my texture pack without the new, awesome, delicious-looking cheesecake. Uh and without the halo iron armor that I currently wear they're gonna be fairly uh, straightforward labeled so the one that has rose in the title is the one that I personally use so you guys can upload or download that be happy use it if you like fantastic uh, right so I promised you guys some 1k subscription specials and I was actually working on them right at the moment that my sound card gave me a big middle finger in the face uh, which is why you're watching a demo of this instead of me playing it also because I have ADD and I tried to record this update while playing it and it simply wasn't happening so you guys are watching a demo was planning on going the retro gaming route and doing a few videos of some of the games that I played growing up and really really influenced 
uh, my getting into video games and being uh, so into them as I am now. And the first one that I thought of that came to mind was Jill the Jungle. I spent a lot of time. Uh, this game has a lot of nostalgic value for me, like a lot. However, um, since platforming has basically uh, fell to the wayside since you know 1991 when this game was released, I am total shit at it now. Absolutely complete shit at playing this game now. I did try it a few times, and I just it was bad, and I I, I just don't want to subject you guys to that. Um, basically started out playing video games when I was, f not playing, started video games when I was about five, watching my dad play a lot of games. It's basically how it started out was just watching my dad play video games for hours and helping. And at the time I really did prefer watching people play video games than actually playing it myself. It probably had something to do with the kind of games that I was, uh, helping, quote, helping play. Uh, mainly Doom, the original Doom, uh, Wolfenstein, Duke Nukem, and that kind of thing. Which, uh, hmm, on a completely unrelated note, has nothing to do with my absolute cowardice nowadays when it comes to anything frightening or um, horror-ish. No, not really. It probably has everything to do with it. But that's okay. It was fun at the time. And I used to do things like, uh, you know, kind of be the navigator. Or I would read the uh, I would read the little booklet or whatever. Oh, turn this way. I'd read the map. I'd keep track of, like, where the health packs were. Oh, you don't need it now? Okay, I'll remember where it was so you can go get it later. That kind of thing. I did play them a little bit uh, myself when I was really young. Really, really, really young. But, uh, like I said, totally totally scaredy cat-ish, unable to play, kind of. Until things like Jill the Jungle came out, uh, it was one of the first games to come out with a female protagonist. Not the first game, but one of the first games. And I felt that was really, really uh, awesome to me, even when I was super young, because all of the other games out were all centered around, of course, male, male hero and all that. And so it's something that I could really relate to, and I got into Tomb Raider when that came out. I actually distinctly remember the very first time that I saw Tomb Raider on the shelf. Um, I was walking through the store, and I saw it on the shelf, and it was in the shape of a pyramid, kind of. The box in the shape of a pyramid. Big picture of a chick with, okay, admittedly big boobs on the front. And I thought, oh my god, I have to have that. I have to have that. It's a girl. How fitting is that? I kind of really felt like there was no games f that were really th considered that girls might play those games. I mean, okay, Tomb Raider probably wasn't ever, while they were creating it, they probably didn't think, okay, we're going to make it a girl. That way, you know, girls feel like it's okay to play it. Probably just made it because they thought that it would give guys something nice to look at while they're playing. However, <laughs> that didn't apply to me. I still played it. I still thought it was awesome because it was a chick. I felt like I had my own heroine. And um, so, yeah, that was great. Played that a lot. One, two, and three, all on the PlayStation because I did never had an NES system. Never had any, any Nintendo products. Not because I was boycotting them or I disliked them or anything like that. It was just really a financial matter that I never had a Nintendo. So I was pretty much robbed of the... Um, traditional roots of most gamers being, uh, you know, Zelda, um, Mario Brothers, anything classic that you can think of that came out for the Nintendo back in the day. Never played it. Didn't have one. Um, had an exceptionally old hand-me-down Sega at one point when I was growing up, which basically meant lots of Sonic the Hedgehog. But other than that, that was about it. So, most of my gaming is geared towards PC gaming, just because that's that's basically what I've I, what I've grown up with and experienced. I did have a PS2, and I spent a lot of time on that. But um, yeah, I think I really do prefer PC gaming for most genres. Anyways, um, oh, and also Mist. I cannot forget Mist. Mist